In an increasingly global society, it has become more common for young footballers to be eligible to play for multiple nations at the international level. At the last World Cup in 2022, over 70 players could have played for an African nation but turned down this opportunity to play elsewhere. This happens for a variety of reasons, as players may feel more connected to a certain country or believe their chances of international success are higher when they choose one country over another. Even though the majority of eligible players have turned down their African suitors, a number of them have decided to make Africa the destination for their international careers, and we will be shining a spotlight on these footballers who have bucked the trend. Best known for his goal-scoring ability and his unique hairstyles and celebrations, Aubameyang was one of the best players in the world during his peak. Aubameyang was talented enough to be named in the CAF Team of the Year in six consecutive seasons and was named the African Footballer of the Year in 2015. As a prolific striker, Aubameyang has won two golden boots, scoring the most goals in the Bundesliga in 2017 for Borussia Dortmund and replicating this achievement in the Premier League two seasons later whilst playing for Arsenal. Despite his undeniable individual talent, the league title eluded him for most of his career until he joined Barcelona, winning La Liga in 2023. These days, as the Gabonese international's career is winding down, he plays for Marseille in the French League. At international level, Aubameyang was eligible to play for France, Italy, and Spain, but turned them all down to follow in his father's footsteps to represent Gabon. Making his debut in 2009, Aubameyang is the best Gabonese footballer of all time by far and was key in helping his country progress further than ever in the Africa Cup of Nations, reaching the quarterfinals in 2012. At the time of recording, Aubameyang has 75 caps and 30 goals for Gabon, an impressive return. However, his critics have argued that a player of his caliber should have brought more international success, with Gabon having won just a single game at a major tournament since their 2012 campaign. A priceless part of many successful sides, Riyad Mahrez's elite ball skills allowed him to overcome the slender build that left him overlooked for much of his early career. Joining Leicester in January 2014, the Algerian winger helped the Foxes to end the season as winners of the championship, securing promotion from England's second division. Having narrowly avoided relegation in the following campaign, Mars' sensational play helped Leicester achieve the most shocking league victory in history, defying 5,000 to 1 odds to win the Premier League in the 2015 to 16 season. As a result, Mars became the first Algerian to win the Premier League and was also named in the league team of the year. Furthermore, he was awarded the African Footballer of the Year Award in 2016. In 2018, Mars agreed to join Manchester City for a fee of £60 million, making him the most expensive African footballer in history. During his tenure with the Citizens, Mars added a string of trophies to his collection, including four more league titles and a treble in 2023. Born in France, Mars expressed the desire to represent Algeria, the country of his parents, internationally. Making his international debut in 2014, Mars mirrored the success he had found at club level, captaining his country for the 2019 Cup of Nations tournament and leading Algeria to victory. Boasting 93 appearances and 31 goals at international level, Mars currently plays in the Saudi Pro League for Al Ali. Also an Algerian international, Auer is still in the early phases of his career. He has spent the majority of his senior career with Lyon, but joined the Italian side Roma in the summer of 2023 on a free transfer. Having been frequently linked to Arsenal as a young player for as much as £54 million, he has arguably failed to live up to the superstar potential many thought he had. When he first emerged as a senior player, he even drew comparisons to Zinedine Zidane for his tight control and dribbling in the middle of the pitch. Having been a part of the French international setup since he joined the under-17 team in 2014, Auer finally made his senior debut for the Blues in 2020. However, Auer would struggle to impress the French manager, Didier Deschamps, and did not go on to make any further appearances for the French national side. In 2023, Auer announced his decision to switch allegiances and represent Algeria instead, having made nine appearances and scoring two goals. Another midfielder who arguably failed to live up to his potential is Kevin Prince Boateng. 
Although he achieved a great deal of success, enjoying a long career and showcasing his skill set at many clubs, Boateng has admitted that he should have achieved more but was always drinking and partying. Still, his undeniable talent allowed him to play for many of the greatest European clubs, such as Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona, and AC Milan, where he won the Serie A league title in 2011. Boateng gained a reputation as a journeyman, which is rare for a player of his quality, playing for 14 different football teams during his career. Boateng could not be nailed down at international level either, deciding to represent Ghana at senior level in 2010 despite playing for Germany's youth setup. Filling in for Ghanaian legend Michael Essien, Boateng impressed at the 2010 World Cup, helping his side to overcome Germany and his half-brother, Jerome. This marked the first time that brothers had played on opposing teams at the World Cup. Arguably, Kevin Prince would come to regret his decision to represent Ghana, as disciplinary issues meant he only played 15 times for his country. Furthermore, had he chosen to represent Germany like Jerome had, he could have been part of the squad that lifted the 2014 World Cup. Another player who has missed out on World Cup glory by choosing to represent an African nation is the Senegalese centered back Kaladu Koulibaly. Koulibaly gained a reputation as an indomitable and technical defender, being named in the Serie A team of the year four times during his tenure at Napoli. In the later stages of his career, Koulibaly found it difficult to reproduce the stellar form that made him one of the most respected center backs in the world. Failing to impress as part of a struggling Chelsea side and moving to the Saudi league's Al Hilal after just one season in 2023. At international level, Koulibaly was eligible to play for France and played as part of their youth setup, but decided to represent Senegal at senior level in 2015. This would mean he would not share in the success of the French national team, who won the World Cup in 2018. However, Koulibaly still had plenty to enjoy about his time with Senegal, making 80 appearances and winning the Cup of Nations in 2022. Ziyech was briefly teammates with Koulibaly in the 22-23 season at Chelsea and also turned down the opportunity to play for a European nation league, only to suffer a heartbreaking defeat to Tottenham Hotspur in the dying seconds of the semi-final clash. Having completed a move to Chelsea in the summer of 2020, it was Ziyech's turn to deliver a Champions League upset as he helped the London side beat favourites Manchester City in the 2021 final. Born in the Netherlands to a Moroccan family, Ziyech could have played for the Flying Dutchman but opted to play for Morocco at senior level. Despite winning the Moroccan Footballer of the Year award twice, his international career was characterized by controversy as he was frequently left out of the side for major tournaments. This was due to his poor relationship with the Moroccan manager, who frequently criticized Ziyech's laziness and poor attitude. After the manager's departure, Ziyech returned to the national side and helped them reach the 2022 World Cup semi-final, the furthest an African team has ever progressed in the tournament's history. Another Moroccan integral to his country's success at the Qatar World Cup, Hakimi is widely credited as one of the best fullbacks in the world. Even though he is only 25 years old, Hakimi already boasts an impressive array of team and individual accolades. He has won two league titles with PSG, one league title with Inter Milan, and a Champions League trophy with Real Madrid. Individually, he has been named African Youth Player of the Year twice and been included in multiple teams of the year at club and international level. In 2021, Hakimi's undeniable talent earned him a 60 million euros move to PSG, making him one of the most expensive defenders of all time. Born in Spain, Hakimi has always chosen to represent Morocco, quickly rising through the team's youth ranks and making his senior international debut in 2016, aged just 17. Since then, he has cemented himself as an indispensable player for the national team, having already racked up 75 caps. Tarek Lamptey has also established himself as a talented young fullback, having excited spectators since his move to Brighton in 2020. Just 23 years old, Lamptey has established himself as an exciting prospect and one of the Premier League's best attacking fullbacks. Despite the promising beginning to his career, Lamptey was unlikely to feature much for England at international level, since the three Lions already boasted impressive talent, such as Kyle Walker, 
Trent Alexander-Arnold and Reese James in Lamptey's position. In 2020, he agreed to the Ghana Football Association's offer and decided to represent the country of his parents, making his senior debut the following year. Lamptey will be looking to add to the six caps he has already earned as his career develops. Lamptey started his career at London club Chelsea and Iwobi emerged at their rivals, Arsenal. He would make 149 appearances for the Gunners, winning the FA Cup in 2017 before moving to Everton and then Fulham. The midfielder is also the nephew of Nigerian legend JJ Okocha, one of the greatest African footballers of all time. Hoping to emulate his uncle, Iwobi chose to represent Nigeria in 2015 instead of England and has spoken about wanting to repeat Okocha's achievement of bringing AFCON glory to Nigeria. Iwobi and Nigeria came close in 2019 and 2024, finishing third and second respectively, but so far the Cup of Nations has eluded them. Iwobi has been a consistent part of the Nigeria setup, making 77 appearances and scoring 10 goals for the Super Eagles. Like Iwobi and Lamptey, Zaha grew up in England but chose to represent the African birth country of his parents. After a failed spell at Manchester United early on his career, Zaha established himself as a gifted winger at Crystal Palace and was voted as the club's player of the year three times in a row. In reality, Zaha was too good to play for Crystal Palace as long as he did and was often linked with bigger clubs, particularly Arsenal. However, these rumors never materialized as Palace remained determined to hold on to their best player. Zaha finally achieved his dream of playing European football when he moved to Galatasaray in 2023, scoring against his former club Manchester United in a surprise 3-2 win at Old Trafford. Although he did receive call-ups to England youth sides and played for the senior team in a friendly, Zaha never played in a competitive fixture for the Three Lions. Even though England were still keen for the winger to remain with them because of his impressive club form, Zaha decided to play for the Ivory Coast instead, making his debut in 2017. Surprisingly, Zaha was left out of the Ivorian squad for the 2023 AFCON competition, which the Elephants would go on to win. Although this decision no doubt frustrated Zaha, he can still be proud of his 35 caps and 5 goals in his international career. Are there any names we left off the list? Would you like to know more about players who chose to represent Europe over Africa? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.